Full Metal Alchemist is not only considered one of the best animes to ever be created, but also one of the best stories to ever be made. Oftentimes, you will see people put this series on their top 5 best animes, or if you're a beginner of anime, this is probably the series that a lot of people recommend you to watch if you're getting into anime. And it's not surprising considering the amazing cast of characters that there are in this series. But with that being said, there's also of course the villains that also make the story even more impactful, but also very memorable. But not all villains are liked. In fact, in this series specifically, there is one certain character that is not only considered the most hateable character in Fullmetal Alchemist, but considered to be the most hateable character overall. And this character's name is Sho Tucker. Whenever you see a discussion involving what many people would consider the most hateable characters in any piece of media, there's always that person that mentions Sho Tucker from Full Metal Alchemist. But why is that? Why is this average looking human being despised by so many people? Especially since Full Metal Alchemist has other villains such as Envy, Kimberly, and King Bradley that show different kinds of evil as well. And it's all very simple. It's because he committed a very horrible action not just to some random person but to somebody that was completely innocent. Now before we start talking about that certain moment, I am fully aware that there's actually two different versions of the Full Metal Alchemist anime. There was one that was in 2003 and then of course there's the reboot one that many people enjoy, this being Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Now for the sake of this video, I'm only going to be focusing on the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood's version of Show Tucker because in my opinion this is actually the best version of Show Tucker and it's very quick to show us what makes this person such a horrible human being. So now that that's out of the way, let's just get started. Sho Tucker is considered the Suing Life Alchemist and he was referred to Edward and Alphonse by Roy Mustang and that is because in this part of the story, Edward was looking for a bioalchemist that may have some sort of clues as to a way to restore their bodies. For those who don't know, when they were both children, they tried to bring their mother back from the grave. However, things didn't go exactly as planned and because of this, their actions would severely impact their lives. And after all this time, they have spent pretty much the majority of their lives trying to find a solution that will make them have their bodies back to normal just like before. And once they find out about the existence of Sho Tucker, they hope that this could get them to their goal that they are trying so hard to achieve. Now during all this, we actually do get a bit of information about Sho Tucker. We come to find out that the reason why Sho Tucker got some attention was because of an experiment that apparently was very successful. And this experiment being that he was able to successfully create a chimera that was also capable of human speech. Now he does mention this to the Elric brothers when they are both meeting him at his estate. However, one thing that's also worth mentioning is that he also has something in the back of his mind and that's him worrying that due to him not being able to create another successful experiment, he worries that his research privileges and his certificate will be taken away from him if he doesn't produce another experiment that is successful. Not to mention that also during the conversation with the Elric brothers, he does mention how his wife apparently left him and now it's just him and his daughter who goes by the name of Nina and of course there is their pet dog. Now when we are introduced to Nina Tucker, she is just simply an ordinary girl. She acts and behaves like something that you typically would see a child her age would behave and act. And at first glance, it does seem that Sho Tucker does care about her and she is considered to be an important person to him. Not to mention that the story that he gave to the Elric brothers about his wife leaving him makes him all the more sympathetic. If you don't know anything about what he was about to do, your first impressions of Sho Tucker may just seem like a father who is trying his very best to support his daughter in any way he can. However, this will be far from the case and very quickly we are able to see just how sometimes there are people who are able to hide the evil that is inside of him. While Sho Tucker at first came off as a soft spoken person who has a friendly persona, that would be exactly that, just a persona. This wasn't the real Sho Tucker, the real Sho Tucker was a complete monster. A man that was so obsessed with his work rather than his family that when he realized that there may be a chance that he may lose everything that he was able to earn because of the successful experiment, that's when he took drastic measures and would do a heinous action that would completely shake you to the core. 
while Edward and Alphonse were still at his estate, he started to create another experiment that actually turned out to be what he considered a huge success and was actually shown to Edward and Alphonse and this being a chimera that just like the first experiment, it was also able to be capable of speaking as well and while at first Edward didn't think anything of it, he soon comes to the realization that the reason why Shotoka was able to create this kind of chimera was because he merged a human with an animal and things start to become increasingly dark once Edward notices that Nina and her dog are nowhere to be found. When Edward asks Tucker where they were, this of course leads to Tucker realizing that there's no way out and that he has to come out clean as to what really is going on and he reveals very coldly that he used his own daughter and the dog to form this chimera and this becomes even more crystal clear when the chimera starts to speak and uses words that only Nina was using to Edward and Alphonse when she was still human. Of course Edward is sick to his stomach and starts to immediately go after Tucker and confronts him violently but despite this reaction from Edward it seems that Tucker has no fear being confronted by him as he decides to taunt and belittle Edward telling him why was he getting so mad if he and him were basically the exact same person. And this is of course in reference to the thing that Edward did in the past when he tried to revive his mother back from the den. It's very obvious that Tucker's not only trying to get into Edward's head but also trying to justify his actions. Edward trying to do the impossible by bringing someone back alive and him using his family to further his research is considered for him the exact exact same thing. This of course leads to Edward beating him up relentlessly telling him that that's not true. They are not the same person and even though Edward had no hesitation beating him up and would have most likely ended his life right then and there, he is stopped not just by Alphonse but by Nina as well. Even though her father is a complete monster and even though he's the reason why she became the thing that she became, she still tried to protect her father from Edward and even though Edward stopped realizing there was no point into doing all this and coming to the realization that no matter what happens, Nina will never go back to normal. They still decided to report this to Roy Mustang and once Roy Mustang finds out about this, he not only places Tucker under house arrest but he makes it very clear that Tucker is going to pay for his crimes. However, sadly this wouldn't happen as while under house arrest, Tucker is still showing the pathetic side of him, talking to the Nina Camara saying that no one understands him and that no one understands what he was trying to do or why he did the things that he did. However, him playing the victim wouldn't last long as he would then get ambushed by another character that goes by the name of Scar who not only infiltrated his estate but seeing what he had done he had no hesitation ending Tucker's life right then and there and of course while he did feel bad for what he was going to do to the Nina Camara he knew that this was going to be the best option for her to end her pain and suffering and so he proceeds to mercy kill the Nina Camara and that is the end of the pathetic life of Sho Tucker. Sho Tucker was clearly the embodiment of an evil person doing something with no hesitation and doing it with no empathy whatsoever. Sho Tucker clearly showed that he was somebody that never cared about anybody else other than himself. He used his family for his research purposes and didn't care about it whatsoever because as long as he was able to still get his research privileges then that's all that mattered. It was very clear that Sho Tucker lacked confidence within himself. I mean that's the whole reason why he even did the experiments in the first place was because he felt that this was the only thing that was making him seem as a very valuable person. And once he realized that he wasn't getting anywhere with his experiments and was fearing that this would make him seem as a very useless individual, he started to be desperate and took actions that were very irreversible. Not to mention that the whole story of his wife running away and leaving him behind was all just a fabricated lie, which is not surprising considering that Joe Tucker had no problems with deceiving people whatsoever. This was something that even Edward came to the realization once he saw the Nina Camara. He realized that the first experiment, the one that gave Joe Tucker the attention that he so desperately wanted, was in fact his wife. Which once again just further proves how this man was never good to begin with. And I think that's the overall the biggest thing that makes Sho Tucker such a very hateable character is the fact that he was always like this and there was no redeeming qualities about him. Sho Tucker was never going to have a redemption arc because no matter what he did and even if he did try to become a better person that all didn't matter because 
the actions he did to an innocent girl who was his own daughter and the actions that he did to an innocent animal as well were something that was not going to be forgotten. And while there are some people who wish that he would have gotten a fate worse than death, you can't deny that seeing him get finished off by Scar was still very satisfying to see because in his final moments all he could feel is fear. Fear realizing that his life was about to end right then and there and realizing very quickly that everything that he did was meaningless as he was no longer going to exist to see what was going to happen to him in the near future. All that time he spent doing research, all that time that he did committing these horrible acts were all pointless as he wasn't going to get any benefit from them whatsoever because like I mentioned earlier Scar was there to finish him once and for all. And the only person who you should really feel bad for in this entire situation is Nina herself. Nina was still a child when this was all happening and it sucks that she ended up having to deal with a parent like this. Nina was just an innocent child who had no idea the evilness that was her father and what he was capable of doing just that he could still have the title and the privileges of furthering his research. And this becomes even more apparent that even though what happened to her was all her father's fault, she still cared for her father and was actually hurt seeing Edward hit him several times, which of course is was something that was very painful to see as you could only imagine what was going on through her head when all of this was happening. And that is why Sho Tucker is not only considered the most hateable character in Full Metal Alchemist, but the most hateable character of all time. Sho Tucker is the perfect example of how someone's bad actions can not only ruin their imagery and reputation, but can be the result of the entire world despising you for committing those terrible actions. And that's where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.